we came from under when colonialism mm -hmm. was at its height. It was at its height. Yeah. Because after our time, colonialism was going to first to it. Upon Belize City, God sent a hurricane named Hati. Hati. Like a puffing bitch, she came, angry, batty, packing gusts, exceeding 200 miles an hour. She unleashed nature's most ferocious power, like raving psychopaths, armed axes, rampaging through a field of butterflies, helplessly trapped in much boxes. And I received came chasing off the heart to a tall and scale the low useless seawall unfolding giant waves upon the tongue. Anything that couldn't swim found. And in her wake the least city lay in waste seemingly beyond repair. There was death and desolation everywhere. And before the water could have subsided to a foot or less, we began to dig out of the awful mess. And for days, there was much looting and British soldiers shooting and curfew regulations and anguish demonstration. People wounded, hungry, thirsty, dazed, homeless, searching for food, clothing, shelter, relatives, loved ones, friends missing. And rusty wire nails, broken glasses, hidden under the muck on every street or havoc to go soon to make it fit. Bodies were everywhere to be found at the two body mortuary. They were outside on the ground and all through the days and into the nights from buildings were excavating more gruesome sites swelling to the point of rupturing as heavy as lead, wide open and seeing eyes, the ones that had heads. And there were many face up at the cemetery. You were taken there with intent to bury, but in the chaos, the living had completely forgotten that after the storm, the ground would be so sudden that graves could be dug to no reasonable depth. And happy victims would have no resting place, even in death. But when they became too ripe and stink and potentially dangerous to keep around, others from high walls. What can't be buried? Mask men, armed with sharp machetes, went from piles to piles, sipping big toes and pouring kerosene oil. Stood at distance and watched, curiously, timidly. Cadavers whine and dance and stood upright when fires ate their sinews with ghastly grinning. And then it crumbled into heaps of charred nothings. And all that was left behind was stenches of burnt, tainted human flesh. Polluting the tranquil, ghost storm atmosphere. And pathetic survivors held their breath to the point of asphyxiation, standing long lines and long hours for a little ration.